Hello everybody, today's video is going to be an unboxing from Thailand again. It's been a while since I've got something from Tripoom, um, but I'm really looking forward to this. This is a fully functional 3x7x7 and a fully functional 3x5x5. Now I know that I've already made a 3x5x5 and I've shown that on my channel, but it didn't really turn out very good in my opinion. And that's why I never really made a tutorial on how to make it. Um, because I just didn't really do a good job. However, this one is really good because Tripoom is the man. And I think, I think he does it with, I think it's his wife, Nini, um, but they do excellent work together. So here are the puzzles. Now what I'm gonna highlight today is the three by seven by seven and I will do another video on the three by five by five but I will show both of them. We'll start off with the three by five by five and I can already tell this is just a lot better than my version. Wow, that is great. Let's just zoom up here. Okay. What I like about Tripoom's puzzles as well is the stickers. Uh, he does an excellent job with the stickers. Ah. All right, so here is the three by five by five. So this is made out of Shengshao 5x5. Yeah, that's a lot better than mine already, I can tell you that. This is very, very nice. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna do a completely separate video on this one. Let's get to the uh, 3x7x7. Because this is the one, really, that I was waiting for. Like, this is amazing, wow. Wow, that is really, really nice. Tripoom is the master puzzle builder. And his and Nini, Nini, you are a very good puzzle builder too. Wow, <laughs> that is that is crazy. So this is built out of a Shengshao seven by seven. It's basically that. So you can see, he's um, just glued you know these three layers together and these three, and then he shaved it all down and shaped it. Wow. So that's quite the transformation, eh? Let's just zoom out here so we can really see this. Um, turning this into this. That is just pure awesomeness. So you can really see how, how far down he is. Actually, there's a really good way to show you how far down he has uh, lowered each side. If I turn this, now you can see that he has shaved all of that off. Like that is all completely shaved off. This is very nice. So let's do a checkerboard. Wow, the turning is great. Holy. <laughs> um, I, I wanted one of these for a while. The first time I ever seen this was on, I believe it was Super Antonio Vivaldi's channel, or maybe it was Tripoom's channel, I'm not sure. Um, but ever since I saw it, I wanted it. Like, I would attempt to make them myself. I mean, I, I can do mods if I really want to, but I don't know why. I just kind of lost my passion for it. Um, is it corner cut? <laughs> it totally corner cuts. <laughs> A three by seven by seven that corner cuts. Holy, look at that corner cutting. That's crazy. All right, so can see right in the puzzle now here's a good example let's see if I can show you okay so he has glued the two layers together so it's this part here and this part I guess it's a little difficult to see here you can see it and then he's just kind of filled in the gap and made it look really nice just does such a good job you can really see the parts of the puzzle and for those who are wondering, I'm sure a lot of you have realized this already, it is a shape shifting puzzle. So it is gonna be really crazy shape shift. And I'm gonna show that in a second. Um, I just wanna let you guys know right now that Tripoom has made a Facebook page uh, for Tripoom puzzles. And you can get, you know, probably pictures of all of his newest stuff there. Sometimes he has a sale, right? He like makes makes certain puzzles and he puts them for cheaper because he makes a whole bunch of them. And um, it's just a really good good way to, to keep up with Tripoom. I'll leave the link to his Facebook page in the description. Um, 
it'd be really cool if you guys could like that page and support him. He's obviously a very, very talented man, him and Nini. So anyways, uh, I want to go ahead and just scramble this thing up. So I'm going to scramble it up as a cuboid first. And it just moves so flawlessly too. And like the stickers are just amazing. Like <laughs> amazing. And here, just like on a 3x5x5, you can see as I turn it, we start exposing some of the core. So that's how low he's brought it. He has brought it right down to the spherical core, as low as it can get. And it's quite heavy, too. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's full of epoxy sculpt, and, you know, so he's gluing, and he's filling stuff, and sanding it. And his exact process, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think that when you're, you know, making something this flat or trying to flatten something right to the core uh, one mistake you know if you go a little bit too far and you're going to ruin the puzzle all right so we're almost done here with the scramble i think that's pretty good so what i'm going to do is turn this one and then i will turn that maybe turn it like this so now that it's like this, I am going to start shape shifting it more. Is that how I want it? Yes. Maybe if I go like this. <laughs> wow. That's not exactly how I wanted it though. I want it like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and shape shift this thing. This is called a floppy cuboid. And it's got some interesting parodies to it, and I can't wait to get at them. All right, so I'm calling that scrambled. Wow, this thing is awesome. I am <laughs> going to go and uh, solve this, and then I'm going to come back and, and let you know how it went. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm back. And I got to say, I am very, very impressed with this puzzle. I've solved it probably like 10 times. <laughs> it's been uh, over 24 hours now. It's, you know, just been over a day. And uh, I've solved this so many times now. Same with the 3 by 5 by 5 um, There's such a pleasure to, to turn. Like, there's absolutely no problems with this puzzle. And it's kind of surprising because of how much, you know, how lowered it is. Uh, especially these pieces here, these, uh, you know, inner square these corner pieces here i want to show you i think this is like you can really see how thin that is you know if, if this is cut any lower like if i pulled up on this i'm sure i would break it um it's very very strong but it's also very fragile at the same time this isn't a puzzle that you would really speed solve um uh, this is really this is basically pushed the limits of the Shang Shao 7x7. I don't think you can go any smaller than this. Uh, and now that the mini one is out too, uh, hopefully we can see some mini puzzles made by Tripoom as well. Um, so there's not really a whole lot more I can say about this. I will leave a link, like I said, to, um, to Tripoom's Facebook page in case you wanted to inquire about one of these puzzles or any of his other puzzles. And I do encourage you to like that page as well, like I said. Uh, there's one thing that I, I didn't really explain while it was scrambled, and I'm going to have to show you now. Um, so let's just go ahead and start scrambling it again. I'm going to fast forward this in a second. It's just that there's... I just forgot to like kind of show you certain things about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and scramble this up. All right, so now that we've got this thing all scrambled up again, um, I, want, I didn't really explain what it is now. It's, it's obviously bandaged, as you can see. There's a lot of bandaging going on. Um, this whole piece right here blocks these three layers. So now these move as one. So let's take a look, and you can see that this is one layer. All of this here is now the top layer. And you gotta figure out how to get everything moving again. And that's like that on every side. Now when you have a bandaging puzzle like this, basically what it turns into when it's completely scrambled and bandaged is its lowest number. So here we have a three by seven by seven. So now it's turned into a three by three by three. Um, 
because you can see that this whole three layers here are now bandaged together and so are these three so that's one two three and it's like that on every side and that's what I wanted to show you guys um, so that's where the difficulty of this puzzle comes from is trying to figure out how to free all of those layers because I mean really I mean that's pretty intimidating um, you know so it's quite the challenge of a puzzle I am able to solve it I think that I would probably do one of my solves with the common optional commentary like I did with the hexaphobic and the 3x5x5 which is also a very big pleasure to solve um, I think what I'm going to do is just do one video solve with that because it's actually pretty easy compared to this and uh, and I think I'll just do a commentary so I would like to do that 3x5x5 commentary at some point please leave suggestions down below what do you think I should talk about while I'm solving that all right guys this is the 3x7x7 <laughs> awesome awesome puzzle thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video